In this video, I'm gonna be answering some more frequently asked questions around the Amazon affiliate websites that we created in previous videos. Uh, so let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. So in this video, it's more frequently asked questions around the Amazon affiliate websites that we created in previous videos. Well, hopefully you did. Uh, if you haven't, then please do check out those videos. They are in this playlist. Uh, they're full of videos and you can create your very own Amazon affiliate website with your own products and, and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, check them out. But I think you're probably here because you've already created one of those websites and maybe you've got some problems or, or whatever. So I'm gonna answer some of the questions that I've been getting over the last couple of weeks with regards to uh, the Kingdom theme and Flatsome. So the Tools one and the Zombie one. And uh, well, let's go for them. So the first question is around an empty cart. Um, so you add a product uh, on your website into your shopping cart and you go to checkout, but then when you get redirected through to Amazon, uh, the cart is empty. Now this is down to an update that Amazon did without telling anyone with regards to the way that it uh, does this sort of adding to cart thing. Uh, but luckily the AA team did issue an update to WooZone, uh, which fixes this problem. So if you are getting the old empty cart thing, uh, make sure you're running the very, very latest version of WooZone, which is available to download from Code Canyon. The second problem uh, a lot of people have been having is regarding the regeneration of thumbnails. So I think this applies pretty more to the Flatsum theme, uh, the tools um, website that we set up. Basically what happened is WooZone made a change where they're not actually downloading the images onto your website from Amazon for your products. Um, they're actually just leaving them on Amazon and showing them using Amazon links, which is fine. Um, but it seemed that a lot of themes were unable to regenerate uh, the thumbnails when you've resized uh, the images on your site. One workaround that I found on this is that if you switch your theme to like the standard 2012 or 2015, the ones that come with WordPress, I do this within appearance and themes, you should then be able to regenerate your thumbnails. Once they're all regenerated, you can then switch back to your main theme, flatsome probably, and all should be good. I haven't tested this fully yet um, because I don't actually have the problem on my site, but if you are having the problem, um, give this a try and uh, it'd be great to hear how you got on. Uh, leave a message in the comments. The third question is around the Kingdom theme. So this is the theme that we used when we created the zombie uh, affiliate website. A lot of people noticed that the theme had an update available within the WordPress update section in your dashboard. And when they clicked update, it kind of installed a weird looking random theme that was nothing to do with the Kingdom theme that they had. Uh, and sort of broke out all their layout and all that sort of stuff. My advice is don't do it. If you want to update the theme, go to um, Code Canyon and download it and update it manually. Um, I've raised the ticket with AA team on this. I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, as soon as I know, I will update the description or put a comment or another video or something, but I will let you guys know. The final thing I want to talk about is the product image problem that we had in a previous video on the Kingdom theme, where product images weren't showing when you actually look at the product page. Uh, they appeared on categories and other places, but when you actually click through to a product, there was no image to be seen. Now, I did a workaround in a previous FAQ video where we added a few other images to the gallery and it seemed to fix it. Uh, but I've been speaking to AA team about this and they are aware of the problem and they are going to fix it in the next Kingdom update, hopefully. So uh, that's good news. So that's all for now on this FAQ. Uh, obviously, if you've got any more questions, I'm sure you'll send them to me or leave them in the comments. That's great, I love to hear from you and I do my best to answer as many as I can. I will stress that I'm getting busier and busier with regards to getting emails and comments and stuff and that is causing a little bit of a delay in my reply. And sometimes I even kind of miss comments and emails because there's so many. And if I do that and I don't reply to you, I am very sorry. Please just leave another comment and I will try and get to you. If you like what I'm doing, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. But until next time, bye for now.